I'd like to thank this great team who, for inviting me to this event and uh, really congratulate them for this uh, great amount of work because I'm aware that they have been working till the last minute and it was really easy for them. So please, a round of applause for this great team. <laughs> Thanks again. So um, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Mariam Touré. For close friends, Karaba. For the Karaba. For the others, Kahlusha Geragera. I've been living in Tunisia, studying in Tunisia for about three years. I'm a Malian who has been studying here for three years, and for others, African. I don't know, some of you guys might remember this first sentence. For others, it's the first paragraph of a letter I have written on September 21st to the Tunisian society to denounce racism. Some of you guys might want to know what has brought me to write this letter or what has happened to me. Yes, racism. But what is the main cause and what is the source of this exact racism? I'd said ignorance. What is one cause of ignorance? The lack of integration. Integration has always been an important subject to me. Why? Because I'm aware of what the lack or its absence can cause. Tunisia hasn't been my first destination. Why? Because I have been a foreign exchange student in the US in 2010. I know for someone who doesn't know US, it's like uh, Beyonce, of course, Rihanna, and all those kind of stuff. And yes, at first I was really excited to go, yes, because I was leaving Mali for the first time, I was 15, and I was going to discover a completely new country. But I also face difficulties. Why? Because I didn't have any friends at first. I felt that it was because of racism. Why? Because I was the only black girl in a school of 300 students. I was the first African they met. I was the only black girl in a town, a small village of a hundred, no, not a hundred, a thousand person, the first African that met. I was scared. I used to cry. I'm, I'm going to admit it. Why were they that scared to approach me? What had I done? Because of ignorance. Because they didn't know that for instance, Africa was a continent and uh, not a country. They thought that we had animals in towns and we live on trees and we were walking barefoot or naked. Ignorance. But my experience completely changed when I realized one thing. Was I going to let this fear completely spoil my whole year? Or was I going to do something? If they weren't going to approach me, I'm the one who was going to make the first step. If they were scared to talk to me, I will talk to them. If they were scared to know about me, I would teach them. One person has to do or to make the first step and I'm the one who've done it. And when I made this step, my experience completely changed. Why? I became, I started became, uh, become involved. I, I got involved in some extracurricular activities. I don't know where I have the power for it. Ozzy. Ozzy. Where is the power point? Ozzy. Fauzi. Fauzi. Okay. <laughs> So I first joined my basketball, okay, it's a really ugly picture of me. This is me right now, right here. 
I first joined my basketball team just to have fun and make friends. Fuzzy? <laughs> I also joined my part of puff team. It's like uh, American football. It's not like soccer, like rugby. rugby. Yeah. Part of puff team. Fuzzy. Next one. <laughs> I also became a member of my mock trial team. It's like we even participate to the state championship of the best lawyers of uh, Oregon. Housing. <laughs> Next one. I have uh, participated to a culture fair. I made a presentation everywhere in my state. Next one. Housing. <laughs> I uh, participate to different conferences in Baltimore, in Washington, D.C. too. Next one. Uh, this is a picture of me uh, at the Portland Rotary Club with my uh, representative. Uh, she was working for the U.S. Department of State. Next one. How was it? <laughs> and I even made a fashion show in my high school with uh, my friends. Those are all my friends' classmates, and those are African clothing I have brought from Mali, and they were, and this was my senior project. My, this was the, the, the African fashion show I, I organized there. And uh, the reason why I show these pictures to you is because from the beginning of my experience, where I was this completely shy girl who was spending her time just saying, okay, uh, what's, what's a pity, uh, I'm not integrated, I don't know what to do. And the end of my experience, when I decided to not let this an excuse and just come to them, I have made plenty of friends. Fauzi? <laughs> Fauzi. <laughs> yeah, next one. <laughs> Next one, Fauzi. <laughs> okay, I'll just tell the story. And it completely changed. I have made plenty of friends. And because I have just understood the meaning of this, what integration mean, meant. Okay, those, this was prom with my friends, actually. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So yes, but yeah, thousand, you can just go to the blank page, <laughs> okay. But unfortunately again, okay, fortunately of course, I came to Tunisia in 2012, yes, to continue my study courses because I, I became, I started um, um, studying law. And what I realized when I came here is that sub-Saharian students and uh, the other, for most part, Saharian students and Tunisian students weren't really integrating. They didn't really exchange. And that's true, why? Because for most of Saharian, because they, had, they have had bad experience with the racism, they put everybody in the same basket. I have been affected by racism, so why would I just let others come, if I'm going to be disappointed anyway. For the Tunisian ones, they were just scared because they said they were just discouraged. I made the first step once and I have been rejected. Why would I make another step? And this is really a pity. Don't you think so? Wouldn't it be pointless for us to come to Tunisia, spend four, three, four, five years without knowing anything about the Tunisian culture, the Tunisian society, or the Tunisian people. And would it, it be pointless for Tunisian also, so for those Tunisian students to not discover us also, because there are almost 20 different African nationalities here in Tunisia from everywhere, Burkina, Mali, Guinea, every single country, more than 20 different nationalities. 
Africa is here. Yes, the first, I'm sure that many of you guys know, but Tunisia's original name is Ethiopia, isn't it? Africa is here. And this lack of integration is really affecting us. Because this subject touched me. I decided to be active in the Tunisian society, or I decided to be active. I first joined the MUA. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's the Model African Union, a nonprofit organization that main goals is to reunite African youth through different, through different activities. And the main activities is the simulation of the African Union. Those are the pictures. Next one. <laughs> of the simulation case. And this was last year's simulation. Next one. Housing. <laughs> I also joined the IOZAT. It's the African Students and Interns Association here in Tunisia. And what we do, uh, that we aim to assist those students and also facilitate their integration through our cultural events. I'm now the, the, the communication officer of the IOZ, this association. Next one. And uh, this association is composed of 19 different countries or 19 different associations affiliated to it. And we organize culture events to show off traditional clothing. Next one our traditional dances, yeah. <laughs> fashion shows, that traditional clothing. And this is important because you just have the opportunity to travel in an African or a different Saharian countries without necessarily leaving Tunisia. So if you want to know more about, I'm sorry, I have written in French, but I'm sure you have understood. So if you want to know more about those two organizations, just visit our Facebook pages. So I'm just going to be quick because apparently you're in a bit in a hurry. So that's why I, I would like to finish with just one thing. Still have time, huh? Yeah. Uh, do you have time? Yes, I Okay, have time. thank you. <laughs> I know that sometimes it's hard for you guys or for us to change. When I went to the US, I have learned a word or an expression culture shock, culture shock. I'm Malian, I have different point of view, I have different way to think, I have different, a different way to see things. And this way might not suit yours. We are human beings, we are completely different. But someone once said that it's the diversity of the rainbow colors that makes it beautiful. And I completely agree with these sentences. And we are here to discover Tunisia, to discover Tunisian people and to get to know you. And we are also here to give you the opportunities, opportunities to know about us and to discover us. We might sometimes fight. I understand. We might sometimes have different opinion or point of view on other things. That's true. But this is how family works. I have a twin brother and I spend every single day fighting with him. But it doesn't mean that we don't love each other. Because loving someone is about fighting with that person. But after going back and staying together. I do have I, I'm going to admit it, I have gone through hard times in Tunisia, of course, but they're nothing compared to the good time I have spent here. Because in Tunisia, I have met some of the most amazing person in my entire life. And I don't consider those people as friends or acquaintances or knowledge. I consider them as family. Because we have 
the same nationality. And yeah, I agree with them. I agree with those people who say that Africa is a continent. We are a continent, okay. Or no, not a continent, a country. I agree with those people who say that Africa is a country. They're right. Because even though we don't have the same culture, the same skin, we have the same blood, we have the same way to think. And this should be our motto. Africa united. This should be our motto of all. And the reason why we're here is to keep this and to reach this goal. An African united in Tunisia. Thank you very much.